Hey guys, so here's an easy way to think about bonding in chemistry. There's really only two types of bond that we talk about, the two categories of bond that we're talking about. It's bond be within the molecule or bond between the molecules. So a fancy way of saying it is that within the molecules type of bond are intramolecular and bond that is between molecules are intermolecular bond kind of like international is between nation now the within molecular bond between bet within molecules bond are generally stronger than the between molecules because these bonds are what made up the molecule in the first place um, so usually we say it is a covalent Lent bond, right? Do you guys, uh, you probably remember this from eighth grade, covalent bond. So covalent bond are just atoms sharing electron. So, yeah, if you don't remember, pretty much so you say you have an oxygen atom, for example, it has six electrons. 6 electron and then you have two hydrogen atom each of them have one electron these guys share these two electron and that's how you get the solid line and voila you have one molecule of water a molecule of water with these things are called the bond that connect them, the intramolecular bond. Now, on the other hand, between molecules mean that you have more than one molecule. So, say you have one molecule of water over here, you have another molecule of water up here, and they have intermolecular bond and in this case it is a hydrogen bond that is this dash 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 bond between oxygen and hydrogen so are there other intermolecular bond yes there are but we didn't learn about it and we actually don't have to so just remember hydrogen bond that's good enough. Okay, another example is in DNA. So let's say I have a nucleotide of DNA. You have a sugar attached to a phosphate group, and then there's a base attached to the sugar. Well, if they don't say anything, that means that it at each of these corners there's a carbon there's a carbon atom here 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 and these carbon atom are look being connected by a covalent bond a solid line and um, now if I have yet another um, nucleotide now the second nucleotide is going to be covalently attached with a solid like to the first nucleotide. Now because of this solid covalent bonding, two nucleotide are now become one molecule. It has now become just one, one molecule. So let's say I have a molecule of two nucleotide of DNA, and then I have another one upside down of the first molecule and let's say this is a C this is a G this is a C T and they are um, they have hydrogen bonding with each other right dot 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 a bunch of hydrogen bonding with each other so now one molecule two 
<coughs> molecule. Having hydrogen bond in between each other, intermolecules. Intermolecules. And that's it. Now, sometimes people want to get fancy, and they said they put names to just the different covalent bond. So, for example, you have one amino acid, acid, covalently bonding to another amino acid, and then they call that the peptide bond. Peptide bond. But really, peptide is still a type of covalent bond. Or, let's say I have one glucose, one sugar, bonding with another sugar, covalent bond, making, making them one molecule, I can call it glycosidic bond. Glycosidic bond. But once again, it is still a covalent bond between two molecules, make, joining two molecules and make them, making them into one big molecule.